facing food hell is their worst nightmare. TV fashion guru Gokwan had been dreading it throughout his appearance earlier in the year. He tried everything to persuade everybody to let him enjoy his food heaven. But what did he get? Let's remind ourselves what happened. Right, well, it's time to find out where the got to my right here. will be facing food heaven or food hell. Everybody has, moved, uh, has made their minds up. Uh, you could be having food heaven, which is that fabulous bit of tuna there, marinated with all your favourite, favourite ingredients. We've got in here with some rice noodles, a little bit of uh, peanuts, nice little marinade, great little salad with so some excited. palm sugar. Alternatively, you could have um, Pedro peppers. We've got red peppers here, roasted red peppers. Uh, paprika, monkfish, roasted romesco sauce. What do you think these look decided? Do you know what? I think they love me. Well, it's 2 1 and, to hell so far at home. And I think because John is my brother from another mother, <laughs> yeah. then I think possibly <laughs> it's going <laughs> to. Well, I think it's possibly going to be tuna. He said hell. You did not. Yeah, I, he did. Yeah, I, however, I said hell. however, the rest of them. Got you in it. Yeah! Okay. Right. <laughs> now, what we're going to do, marinate this first of all. So, first off, I'm going to use my rice noodles, which are these little fellas over here. Now, these are. Yeah. We, what we do with these, pop them in vermicelli, a bowl. Vermicelli, yeah? Yep, vermicelli, rice noodles. What we do with that? Pop them in a bowl, wait for the kettle to boil up, and I'm going to pour that Remember. over the top of there. Next, I can do guys. that. I can do that. Can you do yeah. that? I'll it's do that. You. That's fine. Excellent. Right, now, tuna. We're going to marinate our tuna quite quickly. We've got a nice piece of tuna over here. So when that kettle boils over the top. I know, you've said it. I've got, got it. Got it. Right, look got at it. that. All four of us now. Right, tuna over here. I'm going to cut that up into a decent sized chunk, which that is. Look at that, bad boy. Proper decent sauce size. Bit of lemongrass. We're going to get some soy sauce in there as well, because that'll actually go almost like a teriyaki sort of style. That's a light sauce, it. not a dark sauce. It's light soy sauce, light yeah. Sauce. It's the saltier the... one, yeah? Yeah, light soy sauce. Bit of normal oil over the top of there. There you go. A little bit of the old Thai fish sauce. And then touch in there. And then touch your lemongrass, please. There you go, chef. In there. Thank you very much. Give that a quick mix together. We're going to use a little bit of this oil. Over the top. I'd like this setup to happen heat. every night at my house. Would it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All this you night. three, you just don't... in aprons, <laughs> cooking me food. I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't be great. Thanks. <laughs> You're imagining this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Right. <laughs> Marinated that. Doesn't take very long at all, literally just seal it in a hot pan. Now, the reason why I've got a, a decent thickness of tuna is I'm actually going to serve it proper, proper rare. Oh, sorry, that, that's how I think. It should be sealed on the outside, yeah. sealed both sides. I agree. Rare in the middle, not pink, rare. Over there, we've got the peanuts. Explain to us what we've yeah. got here. We've got some ginger and some garlic in there. Yeah, and lemongrass. Yeah. Chili wants de seeding and chopping up and placing in there as well. It's coming up in a minute. Right. A few spring onions in there, but yep. not many. Okay, so the rest in the salad that we're going to use in, okay. as well in a second. Is that amazing? That can go Is it good to go? Yeah, flip that up. Yeah, go okay. over the top. Right. And they should, if you just So you must it. never ever boil the vermicelli because it goes soggy. So just yep. the hot water, yeah? Straight over the whole kettle full. Yeah. Yeah. Over the top, and they should start. Yeah, you've got a little bit there. I'm just yep. Look at that. And they'll be sick in there. Exactly. You can we'll use these the stir fries, the bits and pieces. There you go. Now, we Gorgeous. mentioned that as well during the show, you do, when you do dinner parties, you see the whole thing's an event for you all the way through. The whole through. thing. So, the you design a menu, it's literally everything carries all the way through. Everything carries through. It normally has one story, one narrative. I, you know, I struggle with fusion stuff. I get a bit confused. So, I like there yeah. to be one, that, you know, one, as I say, one story. So, that's down to the table setting. The people you invite, the music, the food. I mean, the full works, the full works. But you know what? I mean, entertaining's in my, in my blood, you know. We've yeah. always done it as a family. And, um, and so, yes, it's quite important. You kind of never lose it, do you, really? Cause it's never. But, you know, we, we always joke about it with the family as well. I know all my family are watching right now. And because we'll sit down for dinner and having dim sum or something, and the entire family would talk about if this was our restaurant, we'd do this, and we'd yeah. do this differently, and that wasn't very good. And my dad is the best chef in the world. Sorry, boys. But my okay, dad would we, we whip, accept your, it. whip your bums when it comes <laughs> right. to cooking. He is brilliant. I think he's already, yeah? And the flavours are where? where that, what kind of influences does he got? Well, my dad, we, when we were growing up, because we were in the restaurant, we'd have quite Western food at the restaurant. But yeah. as soon as he went home, it was a really traditional, the broths and all the Chinese herbs and stuff. So yeah. we, were, we were very experienced with food from a young age. We, we, we could talk the language, we knew about the flavours, about the herbs and stuff. One thing that's great about that, they seem to use all different manner of different cuts of meat and the Absolutely. whole chicken, the whole lot. Yeah, everything, everything. Really? And in fact, my dad would love the offcuts. You know, he loves the chicken's feet, he loves the head. You know, all yeah. that kind of stuff, much more yep. than he would like the, the, the breast of the meat or whatever. So. Yeah. Right, we're going to blanch those. 
Yeah. Let's come out. Ice cold water just to cool them down. Gorgeous. And we've got our salad over here now. You might want to have a look at this, no. this dressing. Look at that. This has got some of this, uh, yeah, that's it. You yeah. use, yeah, no, use fish sauce going in there as well. Lovely. That's a lot of fish sauce, huh? Yeah. No, well, there's a lot. Yeah. There's some noodles going in here, so we'll be fine. I wasn't criticising. I'm just asking. Right. <laughs> just asking. <laughs> Lovely. You right, do that very well. Thank you. Good boy. You need a bowl in there. And then what these boys are going to do is mix all this lot together into a nice little salad. Right. So if you can mix all that lot up. Yep. We're going to add the chopped mint, the chopped coriander, the... Save some of those Perfect. spring onions okay. for yep. later. That'll be great. Right. Lovely. Can I do anything to help, boys? Yeah, you can put that mint that I've chopped up and put that in the salad that they're mixing okay. there. Okay. All right. Meanwhile, the only job left that I've got left to do is over here. So, a little bit of mint there. You can pop that in there. Yeah. That's that's it. That's this yep. is the, the marinade from the tuna. I'm going to pop that over the top. Keep the heat on here. There we go. So, the idea is we seal this. And like I was saying, you get almost like a teriyaki sauce out of this as it reduces down. You get a lovely glaze. So this looks amazing. Slices. It will be sort of... Well, it will be almost like blue in the centre. That's what you want it, really, with this one. Uh, especially with tuna this good. You don't want to overcook it. It's amazing. Can you just mold that up into a nice little Jun, pile, please, John? <laughs> John was really good last time. Tops off those, please. Me? Tops off me. Yeah, you can just cut, cut the tops off those. Atul will show you how to do them. Yeah, got some scissors. There you go. The There's scissors. the tuna. Look at that. There you go. Done. You want to do it? Yeah, I'll do that. Meanwhile, we've got a nice little bit of. And do you want this mixing up together? No, it can be separate, please, if it that's all right. It can be separate. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> or <laughs> okay, it can be together, fine. it doesn't it matter. It's all separate. It's all separate. Right, separate. ready when you are, please, John. Yeah. Nice little pile of that. And I'll then slice our tuna, which we've got here. Now, if you look at this, that is what we're looking for. That is amazing. Look at that. Like that. And then we put our tuna on right there. If you buy tuna this good, you really don't want to be overcooking it. If you buy tuna that good, you don't need a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, <it's> amazing. <laughs> a few bits of peanuts over the top. We'll just chop that up. And they can roughly just go... I'm so excited. All over there. It's fantastic. Boys. It looks a bit of so these good. cresses <laughs> over the top. A little bit of the veg oil, please, boys. That would be great. Can you pass it that over? Mm -hmm. There you go. A few bits of these little cresses over the top. A bit of lime on the side. A bit of that. No butter. No butter. No, no butter. There you go. But I'd serve bread and butter pudding for dessert afterwards. OK. <laughs> there you go. Dive into that. Tell us what you think of that. That is Diamond. phenomenal. Diamond. Thank you very much indeed. Girls, do you want to Food bring heaven? up the glasses, please? Right. You might want to taste it with those noodles Manger. and the bits yeah. from the noodles as well. There you go. To go with this, uh, Susie's chosen uh, a Costero Riesling, or Riesling, uh, 2009, available from Majestic Wines, £7.49. pence. Tell us what you think. I'm trying to. I'm, gonna, I'm getting in there. You've got ten seconds to go. Ten seconds, right. <laughs> Just a nod. Mm. Marry me. He's a happy man. Yeah. <laughs> There's enough for you can't right. refuse.